The Roman Cop booking system allows you to add booking functionality for accommodation on your website. So if you've got a few houses that you want to rent out for holidays, or, uh, or you've got a caravan park, or you've got some gites in France, you, or even a hotel, um, you, can, you can use the Roman Cop booking system to uh, allow customers to book uh, your rooms or your caravans or wh whatever it may be. And you access the booking system on Roman Cop at Manage Bookings in the menu at the top. So this is the uh, this is the main screen that you'll see when you uh, when you uh, see the the booking system for the, for the first time. So the first thing you want to do is to configure your low, mid, and high season dates. So if we just go onto that screen there, so I'll just do this now. So I'll, I'll set the uh, low uh, low season uh, from I don't know, let's say uh, January to March. We just select the dates. March. We call that the low season. Okay, there's also user seasons that you can set up as well. So if you've got specific prices for, I'm not sure, I don't know, bank holiday weekends or some of the special uh, week or period, time period that you want to make a different price, then you can use the user seasons for that. And so, um, we, there we go. So we set up the, the seasons there, and you can select the year that you want to set, set the seasons for as well at the top there. So if we just go back to the main uh, screen, now what we want to do is to add uh, some categories. Now there's two different ways that you can uh, have accommodation on the Roman Cup booking system. Uh, the first is you can have category booked uh, accommodation. So let's just say you're a hotel and you had a room with a sea view. Then this is going to be booked by category. And the reason that is is because you might have 10 rooms uh, with a sea view. And uh, you just want, when people phone up, they just say, yeah, can I have a room with a sea view? They don't say, oh, can I have room number 10 or whatever it may be. Uh, so you can, you, can allow, um, you can allow your accommodation to be booked by the category that it's in. So we'll do that. And we'll have another uh, room. We call it standard room. And we'll have that booked by category as well. Excellent. So now um, what we can do is we can set the, in fact, at first, before we do that, we need to configure the booking types. And so if we go into the booking types, let's have, um, okay, so we'll have a date, we'll have a daily rate allowed. So we'll say uh, daily daily rate. And so the start date for that and the number of nights can be any. Click on add. And we'll create a couple of set, uh, set holidays as well. We'll have midweek break. We'll have midweek break and that can start on a Tuesday and end on, uh, uh, well, Tuesday, number of nights, three nights so they'll go home on the Friday Click on that. and let's have a weekend special and we'll have that start at Saturday no Friday and that can last for two nights okay so that's the three different holiday types that we're going to have available to book for this so now if I go back to uh, the categories page then we can set the pricing uh, for this. So let's have the room with the sea view. If I go into pricing, so in the low season, on the daily rate, we have the booking. We have it say it costs fifty pounds. That's per night. Uh, the midweek break. Uh, this is for three nights. We we'll do that at uh, hundred pounds. And the weekend special, which is two nights, we we'll do that at uh, seventy pounds. And then so that's in the low season. The mid-season might be, you know, it's likely to be a bit more. So we'll have that at, I don't know, 80, 120, 100 pounds. And the high season we could have at 100, 150, and then perhaps 130 pounds. There we are. Uh, and you can enter the user season values as well. So I click on Save Changes there. And if you click, if you if you are using the other seasons, you click on the link at the top that says pricing for the seasons uh, to see those other seasons. And also, you can enter a deposit if you want to just allow your customers to pay a deposit. You can enter a deposit amount in there as well. But we're just going to uh, uh, only accept the full amount. Uh, so if I click on the back button there, so now what you can do is you can add the actual rooms. So if I go back to the main screen, let's add uh, some accommodation. We've we'll got room one. This is the category is selected there, room with a C view. And we'll just call this room one. You, you can give it a code and, and a name, which we'll make those the same for simplicity. Room two. Room two. Room three. 
room three. So let's just say that we've got three rooms there, which uh, are rooms with a C view. Let's just uh, add some standard rooms. They can be, I don't know, four, five, and six. Four. Okay, so we've got uh, three standard rooms and four, five, and six, and three rooms with a C view. And so you can, uh, at any time, um, you can, uh, when, when, you've, when you've been uh, accepting bookings, you can come into this screen and you can click on the month view, which will show you uh, which rooms have been booked uh, for a particular date. That's room with a C view. Let's change that to standard room. So obviously we've got no bookings at the moment. And it shows uh, ones that are pending, uh, who've paid the full payment and deposit only. And you can also close uh, your uh, accommodation for a period. And that's on the... Uh, that's also on the high, low, uh, and mid-season dates. Uh, there's a there's a, a closed option in the drop down there, uh, so you can if you if you're closed over Christmas or whatever it may be, then you can uh, you can specify that as well. And so there's a couple of other things you can do as well. Uh, if we go into the categories screen again, you can uh, allow extras. So let's just say rooms with a C view. An extra might be uh, would you like a cot? Uh, priced per night, we'll have that per night. Uh, so we have cot, uh, price, I don't know what should we say, five pounds a night. Uh, you can select, you know, if, if there's more than one, you can you can either have a checkbox so that the customer can select it or a quantity drop down, we just have a checkbox. And the uh, minimum uh, and maximum that they can select of that item. So we'll just have, uh, set that up there, there's a cot, and obviously you can add whatever you like there and change the order as well of those uh, questions. Uh, so, um, that's essentially it. You can, you can. Uh, this, this is showing an example of booking by category. Bear in mind that the prices are always per room; they're not per person. They're always per room. And uh, with with the uh, daily rate, uh, customers will be able to book a maximum of 14 nights. Okay, so that's uh, uh, that's the daily rate. Um, and then you just click on the link there that says how to add booking buttons or links to your website. We're just going to keep it really simple, so we'll just paste this piece of code here. That's the simplest uh, thing, and then so it allows them to select the room type and everything on the actual uh, cart page. It just makes it really easy for you. Uh, there's one other thing as well, which is that uh, you can customize the booking pages. When the when the customer goes through the booking process, they'll they'll see uh, a few different pages, and if you click on customize there, uh, there's there's various different options here. We we our website this demo store or demo booking system is for the Orchard Valley Guest House, which is a fictional uh, guest house that we've uh, we've made up. But um, uh, we've customized this page here, and you can customize some of the other pages as well: the calendar page, the extras page, the checkout page, and also the confirmation page, which they, which they see at the end. Uh, and so let's just see uh, what that actually looks like. So here's our demo site. This is for the Orchard Valley Guest House. And uh, we just created a simple page. It gives a, a kind of picture of the uh, accommodation, uh, some text uh, describing a few things. And then, the, as you see, we paste on that button. So you just get a button at the bottom which says, uh, click here to check availability and book. If I click on that, it takes us to a page. As you can see, we've got uh, a date selector there. Uh, um, and a room with a uh, C view and a standard room available in the drop down. So we could say, say we wanted to have a, a room with a C view, then you can just hover uh, the mouse over the dates. The customer would ho hover the mouse over the dates and they can see uh, what's available. So, say, um, for example, on the Friday, you can get the, uh, the, the weekend uh, rate and the daily rate. And also, there was a midweek break. There we are on the Tuesday. And so, if they wanted to book something, then they would select. Um, uh, the date that they wanted to start. Let's just book something for April. So uh, let's have a midweek break. Just click on that. It says the price for three nights starting on 13th of April 2010 is £120. Uh, click on the date then here to book. So we click on there. And so it says the basic price for the accommodation uh, for the period of six is £120. Extras, would you like a cot? Uh, £15 for this booking. Yeah, we'll have a cot. And we click on book now. Takes it to the confirmation page. It shows uh, the details of the accommodation. 120 pounds. It adds the cot there. Then, of course, it shows the, the tax amount as well. And that's just down to your your standard uh, cart tax settings. And then we can enter the details here. Let's just enter some test details here. And then you go through to pay with your card.
and then the uh, then the order is is complete and they can print up an invoice for their uh, for their stay and they will also be emailed a confirmation email uh, as well so if we take a look back on the uh, on the booking manager now uh, we can see that um, if we click on the month view and we booked up for April so we go to April it shows that holiday is is booked for those three dates and if you click on the dates there as well then you can see the details of the uh, uh, of the booking there as well so it makes it really easy to see uh, what's you know what's been booked and um, there's another thing as well if I click on back you can also uh, you can click on uh, availability for the uh, for each uh, each room and we can see there that that's booked room one uh, for that date and this gives you it gives you a year view so as you can see really easy to add accommodation booking onto your website and uh, and you know it's it's just such an easy way uh, of allowing your customers uh, to book online and you know one of the key things about this is that if at the moment you're accepting orders over the uh, you know bookings over the phone this is going to make your life so much easier and you know it's most likely going to increase the number of people booking your accommodation because they can do it for the comfort of, of their own home they don't have to speak to people people like that uh, you know people like being able to book holidays themselves nowadays so it's a great feature to add to your website